In this problem, they're telling us there is a function that has derivative of all orders. So that means all the derivatives exist at x equals 0. So f prime of 0, f double prime, etc. And there's a polynomial p sub an x, which is the nth degree polynomial, centered at 0. Okay, in part a, they're telling us that f of 0 is equal to negative 4, and the value of the first derivative of the polynomial at 1 half is exactly negative 3. They want us to show them that the first derivative of the function at 0 is exactly 2. So first of all, let's go ahead and create the first degree polynomial. So remember the first degree would be created using this, right? f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x to the first over 1 factorial. Now the reason why I'm creating this, this is because they're giving me this value. They're telling me that when I plug in 1 half here, I'm going to get to negative 3. But I know what f of 0 is. I don't know f prime of 0, but they're telling me to plug in 1 half for x. And if I do that, the output is negative 3. So this is the equation that I'm trying to solve. So I can solve for just this piece, which is the first derivative. So I'm going to go ahead and add that 4 over, and I get to 1. Divide by the 1 half. So there's my check. Yes, it is equal to 2, which is they, what they wanted me to show. Okay, part B, they give me the second and a third derivative. Can we write the third degree polynomial? So remember, for the third degree, what do we do? It would be f of 0 plus f prime of 0 times x. Second derivative, x squared over 2 factorial. Third derivative, x cubed over 3 factorial. And all of these values that they are giving us for the derivative. So this is negative 4. First derivative, we figured out from part A, or they told us to check it from the original stem. So this is 2x. The second derivative they give us is negative 2 third x squared over 2 factorial. The third derivative they also give us is 1 third x cubed over 3 factorial. So this would be your answer and you can be done. If you choose to simplify, which is not necessary, you would get to here. I would end up with x squared over 3 and this would be 1 over this is 6, 3 times 2 times 1. You can also give them that as well. Okay, lastly, part C. They say there's another function h. I'm going to erase some of the stuff we did here to create more room. Okay, so there is, they say that there's another function h. And the first derivative of h is given by f of 2x. All we know is h of 0 equals 7. They want the third degree polynomial for h about x equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write this first. So let's think about how we create that third degree. Your first term would be h of 0. Then we would need h prime of 0 times x plus h double prime of 0 times x squared over 2 factorial. Um, we need a third degree, so we would need all the way to here. So this is what I'm trying to create. Let's see what we have. This is given is 7, so that piece I have. h prime of 0 is not given, but I can find it because they told us that h prime of x is f of 2x. So h prime of 0 is really f of 2 times 0, which is 0. And we know that f of 0 is negative 4 because they give it to us in part a. So that we have. What else do I need? Now I need the second derivative. Well, I can find the second derivative by taking the derivative of h prime. So derivative of h prime is h double prime. So how would I take the derivative of f of 2x? That is a chain rule idea going on. So the derivative of f of 2x is derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. There's that chain rule idea. So I need to figure out what happens at 0. So this would be f prime of 0 times 2. And this, we figured out, or it was given in part a really, because that was our check, is really 0. So h double prime of 0. I'm sorry, it was 2 from above. So it would be 2 times 2, which is 4. So we have our first derivative, we have our second derivative. 
Now we need our third derivative. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take the derivative of the second derivative. This 2 here is just a number, so I'm going to leave it in the front. Now how do I take the derivative f prime of 2x? Same thing, chain rule. Derivative of the outside times chain rule here. So this is really 4 times f double prime of 2x. I need to figure out what happens at 0. So this would be 4 times f double prime of 0. And this value was given above. It was negative 2 thirds. So 4 times negative 2 thirds give me, gives me negative 8 thirds. So now I have all the values that I need to create this polynomial. So now let's plug in my values. So h of 0 was given is 7. And then the first derivative is negative 4 times x. Second derivative we figured out was 4. Third derivative is a third x cubed over 3 factorial. I'm just going to leave it like that.